Oh, this is step 7 to 9 ng accounting cycle, which is your preparation ng closing entries, the preparation of your post-closing trial balance, and yung optional step, which is step number 9, reversing entries. So dito sa video na ito, 10 questions itong ating susubukang sagutan, umpisahan natin sa question number 1. Closing entries, letter A, are optional steps in the accounting cycle. Letter B, affect only real accounts. Letter C, permit an entity to analyze routine and repetitive transactions the same way all the time. Or letter D, remove the balances from the entity's temporary accounts. O, pag inanalyze mo yung mabuti, makikita mo na si letter A mali kasi ang closing entries are mandatory steps. Hindi siya optional, ano? Kailangang i-close mo ang mga nominal accounts para pagdating ng panibagong period, new start, fresh start, kumbaga. Yung letter B, mali yan kasi it also affects nominal account. So, hindi lang real accounts. Yung letter C, oh, mali yan, ano? It does not really permit an entity to analyze routine and repetitive transactions the same way all the time. Ang tamang sagot dito is letter D. It removes the balances from the entity's temporary accounts. Kaya siya nire-remove kasi i-zero out natin ang temporary accounts. Ita-transfer natin sa iyong capital account. Okay, question number 2 tayo. The account income summary is A, letter A, nominal account, letter B, real account, letter C, Capital account or letter D, mixed account. O marami dito yung medyo nalilito, ano? yung income summary, saan ito? Or, ano, or anong klase ito? Pag in mo yung mabuti, si income summary ay isang nominal account. Kasi ginagamit lang siya during closing procedure. So, ibig sabihin, temporary account yung nature nito ang ating income summary. Pag real account kasi, ibig sabihin, nasa balance sheet siya. So, hindi mo siya makikita sa balance sheet. Hindi siya makikita kahit sa income statement. Pero nominal siya kasi temporary ang purpose. Okay? Hindi siya capital account, hindi siya mixed account. Proceed tayo sa question number 3. After the accounts have been closed, o pag nasarado mo na yung mga accounts, letter A, all the accounts have zero balances. Letter B, the asset, liability, and capital accounts have zero balances. Letter C, the revenue, expense, income summary, and capital accounts have zero balances. Or letter D, the revenue, expense, and income summary accounts have zero balances. So alin dito ang tamang sagot? O mali po dito si letter A, ano? Hindi lahat sinizero. O pag zero yan, ano pa ang ating i-report? Re Wala naman palang laman. Si letter B, mali yan. Hindi po natin zero ang asset, liability, and capital accounts. Si letter C, mali din yan because of your capital account. So, ibig sabihin, ang tamang sagot ay si letter D. Ang zero out natin ay yung ating nominal accounts, your revenue and expense accounts, including your income summary account. Okay? The answer for question number 3 is letter D. Now, question number 4. The credit balance in the income summary account represents what? Net income, net loss, liability, or capital. Remember that when you are closing your revenue and expenses to the income summary account, it mirrors the normal balances of your income and expense accounts. So kung credit balance, ibig sabihin, mas malaki ang revenue mo over expenses, Revenue minus expenses, pag mas malaki ang revenue, that is net income, and you have a credit balance. So, for question number 4, that's letter A, net income. Now, proceed tayo sa question number 5. The post-closing trial balance, letter A, provides a convenient listing of account balances that can be used to prepare the financial statements. Letter B, does not include nominal accounts. Letter C, is identical to the statement of financial position. Or letter D, proves that accounts have been closed properly. O alin ba dapat dito ang tamang sagot? Pag inanalyze mo yung mabuti, 
Ang pinakasagot dyan ay letter B. Ang post-closing trial balance ay real accounts. So, it doesn't contain any temporary accounts or your nominal accounts. Ano nga ulit itong temporary or nominal accounts? That is your income and expense accounts. Yung nasa ating statement of financial performance. O, question number 5, letter B. Question number 6. Which of the following accounts would not appear on a post-closing trial balance? Alin yung hindi mo makikita sa post-closing trial balance? Accounts receivable, accumulated depreciation, depreciation expense, or allowance for doubtful accounts. Tatlo dyan, balance sheet item. Yung isa, income statement. O income statement yung ating tinatanggal. The answer is letter C, depreciation expense. Oh, proceed tayo sa question number 7. For sole proprietorship, the net income for the period is Letter A, credited to capital account Letter B, debited to capital account Letter C, credited to drawing account Or Letter D, debited to drawing account Saan natin kinuklose ang net income? O syempre, kinuklose natin ito sa capital account Pero, debit nga ba or credit? Uh, dahil ang net income mo, kapag meron kang income summary ay nasa credit side, o kinikredit din natin ito sa capital account. Letter A ang sagot dyan. Ang journal entry mo kasi is to debit your income summary account and credit the capital account. So, that is the answer for question number 7. Question number 8 tayo. Reversing entries apply to... All adjusting entries, all deferrals, all accruals, or all closing entries. So, saan applicable ang reversing entries? Hindi po applicable ang reversing entries sa lahat ng adjusting entries. Kasi, pagdating sa deferrals, meron tayong dalawang method. At hindi pwede yung balance sheet method. So, hindi pwede yung all adjusting entries at hindi pwede yung all deferrals. Ang sagot natin dyan is all accruals. Okay? Remember that your reversing entries are only applicable to accruals and the deferrals na nag-umpisa doon sa income statement yung approach. Ibig sabihin, kung ito ay prepaid expense, nag-debit ka muna ng expense and credit to cash yung initially. Or kung sa unearned revenue naman, Nag-debit ka muna ng cash and nag-credit ka muna ng service income. So, ipinasok muna sa income statement. Okay? So, yun yung applicability ng reversing entries. Question number 9. Adjusting entries that should be reversed include those for prepaid or unearned items that Letter A. Create an asset or a liability account. Letter B. Were originally entered in a revenue or expense account. Letter C, were originally entered in an asset or liability account. Or letter D, create an asset or a liability account and were originally entered in a revenue or expense account. O eto, medyo nakakalito ito. Ano? Baka madali ka doon sa pagkakastate ng problem. Adjusting entries daw na nire-reverse which is applicable doon sa deferrals, your prepaid and unearned items. Yung letter A kasi, medyo partially tama. Yung letter B din kasi, were originally entered in a revenue or expense account. Eto, pag binasa mo, tama yan. Yung letter C, mali yan kasi asset or liability account ang ginamit. Hindi pwede yung balance sheet approach. Yung letter D, pinagsama yung letter A and letter B that makes the answer more appropriate. It creates an asset or a liability account because it were originally entered in a revenue or expense account. So the answer for question number 9 is letter D. Now, proceed tayo sa last item. An entity initially records prepayments in nominal accounts. Which of the following year and adjusting entries should be reversed? Letter A. The entry to record inventory at the year end. Letter B. The entry to record the portion of rental received in advance that is unearned at year end. Letter C. The entry to record doubtful accounts. Or letter D. The entry to record depreciation of service vehicle. Oh, 
Hindi natin pinag-uusapan dito yung inventory, pati yung mga doubtful accounts and your depreciation. The answer here is letter B, the entry to record the portion of rental received in advance. Well, that is an unearned service revenue, rental received in advance. Ikaw yung nakatanggap. Pero unearned at year end, oh, kasi initially, nag-debit ka ng cash and nag-credit ka ng rental income or rental revenue. Oh, kailangan natin i-transfer yung unearned at year end. Oh, ito yung sagot natin for question number 10. Okay? So, these are the questions applicable for step 7 to 9 of your accounting cycle. I hope I'll see you around sa mga susunod pa natin ng mga multiple choice reviewers. Thank you and good luck sa mga exams. Bye-bye.